What you are about to see now has seldom been seen by anyone other than a few research and development engineers. In a specially designed test machine, fabricated with three-quarter inch boilerplate, built to withstand more than 10 times the projected force of a steel brush explosion, an engineer prepares a test specimen. Normally, a locked steel door confines the entire test procedure. For this demonstration, a plexiglass shield will be substituted. Additional safety precautions were taken. The product, an industrial quality radial brush drawn from random stock. The assignment, test and evaluate verify maximum safe free speed limits. In short, run to failure. Test and evaluate, run to failure. Analyze the results and make it better. The Osborne name and reputation are on the line, as it has been since 1887. Osborne pioneered it all, from start to finish. Today, retaining leadership in the brush industry with the same principles adopted at its inception, as in 1887, continuing to study customer needs. Today, with factory representatives located worldwide. Research and development facilities that are the most extensive in the industry. Maintaining manufacturing superiority in materials and workmanship. Servicing a major distribution network throughout the world with a modern approach to space age technology, Osborne continues its search for methods or materials to improve any finishing operation with power brushes to clean, deburr, finish, or edge blend practically any material known to man. They do it all. Osborne produces thousands of shapes and sizes of brushes from miniatures to large diameter mill brushes over 15 feet long. A comprehensive line of maintenance brushes to clean, sweep, scrub, or polish to service every industrial need. Paint and varnish brushes that perform to yesterday's standards or today's miracle finishes. Chip brushes, paint mitts, and rollers. To ensure recognition of quality, a pride of manufacturing excellence is permanently stamped on every Osborne brush manufactured. This recognition will only survive when the brush is used for the purpose intended, when the brush is used intelligently and safely. To this end, Osborne includes in every carton a constant reminder for the recommended safe use of their brushes, along with power brush safety recommendations. A poster campaign emphasizing brushing safely for your own safety is another way Osborne has followed through on the safe end use of their products. From start to finish, with design, quality control, high production standards, repeated inspections, building the quality in. The final application is where the quality comes out. Preparation of working surfaces for welding, painting, layout, or machining is one of the most widely recognized power brush applications. On this type of rough, uneven surface, a wire cup brush works well for rust and scale removal. 
In this, as in many brushing situations, standard safety items, eye protection, gloves, and aprons are recommended. Where warranted, a dust mask may be worn. The guard has been purposely removed in this and in several of the following applications to better show brushing action and brush configuration. Switching to a radial style brush is called for on contoured areas. Here, stacking more than one brush widens the working face, increasing productivity. Osborne brushes are working throughout the pipeline industry. Stripping pipe ends after the protective coating is applied is one application. Other manual or fully automated applications include bevel cleaning prior to welding, cleaning of weld scale and spatter, OD and ID cleaning, bead and filler cleaning. Where flexibility is not required, a tie cup brush should be used. The tie brush is encapsulated supporting and strengthening the wire filaments for more aggressive cutting action and longer brush life, resulting in even greater safety. A flaring end brush of twisted straight wire provides an efficient means of finishing irregular configurations or restricted areas. The Industrial Rubber Wheel Company uses a crimped wire brush on a conventional pedestal grinder to remove urethane flash while simultaneously finishing the wheel hubs. Note the steady rest supporting the part for safety as well as more efficient brushing action. For removing rubber flash from automotive motor mounts, Anchor Industries uses a straight, heavy, twisted wire brush with short trim length at high RPM. This combination of brush type and speed furnishes maximum cutting action. The narrow brush face follows the part contours easily. Dust collection systems may be desirable and are required in some applications. Here, one is used to catch the rubber particles and smoke. On another type of their motor mount, the same brush type is used, but in this case, where there are no internal contours to be followed, a wider cutting face is achieved through stacking, increasing productivity. A drill brush is another example of the right brush for the right job. These brushes, designed by Osborne for the rubber industry, have wire filaments of unequal length, are self-cleaning, and will not load with rubber particles. They are mounted on standard drill bits to clean out holes and spot face in one operation. The drill brush will follow the surface of the part and remove rubber effectively, even from countersunk holes. They can be used in hand operations, with drill jigs or in fully automated production. Lease Neville, a leading manufacturer of electric motors, generators and alternators, uses crimped steel wire brushes for a fast, uniform method of stripping stator leads. The brush spacing is adjustable to accommodate various wire gauges and a stop regulates the length of the stripped area. The method is low cost, requiring only a small investment in equipment. Wire brushes work in many ways in the electric motor industry. In this automated application, varnish or epoxy insulation is removed from the ID of stator assemblies. One advantage gained over other methods is in the self-cleaning capability of a power brush. It will not load with sticky residue. Action is confined to the selected area, 
eliminating rejects due to insulation damage. Depending on the application, the brush may be held stationary and the work rotated. The brushes doing the cleaning can be adjusted to accommodate parts of varying sizes. Yet another example of Osborne's right brush for the right job is the use of a side cutting brush filled with abrasive filament material to finish bores in a pump body. This material cleans, deburs, and feathers sharp edges left from previous machining operations. If production calls for chip removal or cleaning of blind threaded holes, a side cutting brush is very effective. The spiral construction lifts debris from the hole with a normal clockwise rotation, sometimes eliminating the necessity for blowing out or flushing. From start to finish, simple or complex, a brush, a speed, a machine, any finishing problem. Osborne Research Facilities are available to solve customer problems. Answers come fast. Precision parts run on a centerless grinder, like this valve spool, can be finished by replacing the grinding wheel with a brush. Using either a wire or abrasive filament brush with grinding coolant, deburring, edge breaking, and surface improving can be effected according to requirements. Utilizing the brushing machine in tandem with a centerless grinder and coupled with gravity feed enables one operator to tend both operations. Thorough knowledge of the characteristics of various brush types and the feasibility of hand versus automated operations are considered. In this application, due to the number of edges to be brushed and their locations on the part, automation proved impractical. Off-hand brushing was selected. Heavy burrs are first removed with a crimped wire tie brush, presenting a rigid, aggressive cutting face to the work. A knot-style wire brush provides the needed flexibility for edge blending in areas more difficult to reach. With any power brushing application, safety precautions should be observed at all times. Safety glasses with side shields are recommended. Loose-fitting clothing, neckties, rings, or other jewelry is not recommended. The right brush for the right job. A natural fiber radial style cleans and polishes plastic trim. The low RPM allows the brush material to conform to the part surface and reduces overheating. In volume production, this piece could be processed on inline equipment. An abrasive filament brush works effectively in burr removal and edge breaking on this aluminum stamping. It was selected for its ability to do the job, leaving the part ready for anodizing or other finishing. A knot style, the most aggressive of the various brush types, was used to remove cut off burrs from steel spacer rings. Deburring time in a semi-automated operation, eight seconds. An abrasive filament brush was selected to break the edges of this hardened and ground centered powdered metal gear. Two spaced brushes are used to generate an even break around the tooth profile. The mating part is finished by simply repositioning the brushes.
an example of inline brushing. The black oxide on this shelf bracket is being textured by a wide face crimped wire brush to expose the parent material, copper plate on steel. Brush and feed speeds are coordinated to produce the desired appearance. In production, the brackets can be conveyed on a continuous rubberized conveyor. Brushes are available in widths to fit any standard finishing machine. Start to finish, from removing rust and scale to fine finishing this pump gear journal, a brush can do the job. Here, a natural fiber brush used with a rouge type compound produces a finish in the two to four micro inch range without altering the finish ground dimension, dramatically increasing seal and bearing life. Yes, Osborne currently produces thousands of shapes and sizes of brushes. This 15 inch diameter mill brush has a total weight of over 1,000 pounds. Made up of 3,095,040 wire points. That's 104 miles of wire per brush. And yet this brush achieved an accuracy of one quarter ounce inches of perfect balance. Osborne factory representatives, as well as their distributors, are qualified by training and experience to help profit-oriented manufacturers in their search for new and better ways. All are supported by Osborne's development laboratory. To power and maintenance brushes, paint brushes, and painting accessories, add top quality industrial aerosols, more than 50 different types. Lubricants, cleaners, coating finishes, release agents, all carry the Osborne trademark, the symbol of excellence. Osborne has the largest inventory of stock brushes in the world, available through over 500 industrial distributors. Osborne proudly subscribes to the National Industrial Distributors and National Welding Supply Associations. The Osborne Manufacturing Company is nearing its first century of leadership in the industrial brush industry, a history of continual improvement. The Osborne nameplate marks the world's finest and most complete line of quality brushing tools. Nearly a century of know-how. That's a mighty good reason for buying Osborne. From start, to finish.